All right, to help us understand the latest headlines coming out of Egypt, let's bring in Aziz Abu Sera. He is the director of Middle East Projects at George Mason's Institute for Conflict Analysis and Resolution. Mr. Abu Sera, thanks for joining us this evening. Let's talk about what we just heard from Tom Fitzgerald. Mubarak is saying he would leave office now, but he fears Egypt would sink deeper into crisis. Do you buy that? No, I think uh, Mubarak should watch the streets outside his palace. It's already in chaos for the last uh, week, 10 days, and uh, it will not get quiet until he leaves office. Uh, I think that's the, the only thing, the only option he has at this moment. Well, as you know, Vice President Suleiman, handpicked by Mubarak himself, would essentially be in charge if Mubarak left now. How would that sit with the opposition? Would they go for that? Yeah, the opposition has said that they will sit with Suleiman and negotiate the moment that Mubarak leaves office. They're not willing to work with Mubarak because he is, uh, he represents the regime, he represents the dictatorship that worked for 30 years and oppressed the Egyptian people. Therefore, they're not going to negotiate with him. However, they are open to negotiate with Suleiman the moment that Mubarak leaves office. Journalists are being attacked by pro-government supporters. We've even heard reports that it's actual military police officers that are part of this rounding up the journalists. Are journalists on the ground there seen as sort of mouthpieces for the opposition? Yeah, I think what's happening at this moment is that uh, the crackdown on journalists is just pre what's going to happen tomorrow. The government does not want the reporting of its uh, police officers cracking down and shooting at uh, protesters. And tomorrow is going to be a big day with thousands, tens of thousands of uh, uh, protesters out. Uh, it's being called that tomorrow is the last day for Mubarak to be in office. And therefore, they want to warn journalists. This is an orchestrated program by the government, by the Egyptian government. It's not, uh, it's not just uh, a few people going into uh, and beating uh, uh, the journalists. I think it's a very orchestrated thing. And what we've seen in Tahrir Square, also known as Liberation Square, Tens of thousands, if not millions of people gathering there over the last 10 days. But with all the violence, do you expect tomorrow's demonstration, this call for Mubarak to leave office, do you expect big numbers tomorrow? Absolutely. I think big numbers will show up tomorrow, especially because of what happened yesterday. The attack on the people yesterday will make more and more people come. Uh, more and more people are frustrated. We have to remember that 30 million uh, of the Egyptians live below poverty level. And these people are frustrated. But not only the poor people, there's also the middle class people that have uh, come to the streets and wanted to stand against Mubarak. So uh, what will happen tomorrow, though, what I expect tomorrow to happen is a lot of violence. And I think what Mubarak made here is that when, when you prevent a peaceful revolution of happening, then uh, a violent revolution is inevitable, and that's what JFK said. Before. Well, you were just talking about economics. That sort of brings me into my last question as we wrap up here with you. Food prices hitting a record high in the middle of this crisis. Now, when you consider unemployment is already at a minimum 25 percent, many of those people educated, doesn't this just escalate everything? Oh, absolutely. I think the problem with Mubarak is he's not seeing the roots of these uh, issues and the roots of these problems in its economy, its uh, corruption, and people can't uh, trust him to really be the one who's going to reform. That's why they want him out. Therefore, I that's the reason I don't expect uh, the protesters to stop until he's out of office. All right. Aziz Abusera with George Mason University. Thanks for joining us once again tonight.